What's going on in your area? I know that new government system's scaring ya. Is you ready for a change? Cause you oughta be. We still living in shambles and poverty. Are we ever knew a slavery or robbery? Welcome and thank you for tuning in to the California Hawaii NAACP E newsletter. I am your host, Alan Brooks, president of Merced County Chapter NAACP. This is a condensed version of our newsletter, which is available on C-A-H-I-N-A-A-C-P.org. All of the stories that we're following uh, have uh, extended versions that could be also seen on our newsletter at our website, which is C-A-H-I-N-A-A-C-P.org. Now let's lead into our first story, which talks about our new California, Hawaii State President NAACP, Rick L. Callender, Esquire. Rick states, we are coming up on a year of which we've been in a national pandemic and three months with new leadership at the state level. I'm impressed with the work that has been done thus far. The leadership of my team, and most of all, I'm impressed with the dedication, participation, perseverance of our branches. We truly have strong leadership throughout the state of California and Hawaii. You have embraced change, taken bold steps in mobilizing and advocating throughout the state, and with each action making for a stronger California, Hawaii, NAACP. I look forward to continuing to lead in the fight with you. When we fight together, we win together words of our new president for California, Hawaii, NAACP, Rick L. Callender, Esquire. Please feel free to click on the link under our newsletter in order to read more about our new California, Hawaii state president. Diversity Ford Summit, from communities to conference room panel. The Silicon Valley Leadership Group Inaugural Diversity Ford Summit. Race and equity are always bold conversations to be had and necessary to move this country forward. California Hawaii State Conference NAACP President Rick L. Callender Esquire, joined by Dr. Robert Rodriguez, Senator Stephen Bradford, and Senator Maria Elena Durazo last week to discuss diversity in the conference room. Please feel free to click the link below on our newsletter to watch more. The California Hawaii State Conference, NAACP, partners with Cal CRG programs to bring free monthly expungement clinics to Californians. Expungement Zoom clinics are available on the first Friday of each month through September, 2021 and offered to the following counties, Alameda, Contra Costa, Fresno, Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Diego, San Francisco, and San Joaquin. More information is available on our website. Black Wellness 24-7. Black Wellness 24-7 has several signature programs to help improve health outcomes among African-Americans. By leveling the power of technology and existing community assets such as barber shops, beauty shops, and churches, Black Wellness 24-7's goal is to reach 1 million Black Americans by 2025. BlackWellness247.com Please feel free to click the bottom of our news link to see more. Find out if it's your turn. Everyone in California will have an opportunity to get vaccinated against COVID-19 at no cost. But our vaccination supply is limited right now. So we are starting with the groups who are at the highest risk, like people who are a high chance for exposure and people 65 and older. Please get more information at myturn.ca.gov or click the link on our newsletter. 
good news for sole proprietors and small business owners. The Biden administration announces exciting changes to the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP, that expands access to the country's smallest businesses. The new rules for the federal loan program prioritize relief for the sole proprietors, small businesses with fewer than 20 employees and businesses located in low-income communities. For two weeks starting February 24th, only these businesses can apply for the program. Larger businesses will now have to wait until March 10th to apply. For more details, please click our link on the newsletter. We live in a society that has intentionally left Black narratives out of American memoir, while simultaneously standing on the backs and shoulders of Black individuals. Black people's accomplishments and gains deserve a place in history outside of Black History Month. While highlighting our past achievements and benefications is vital. The collective idea is to recognize that Black history and Black people are a pivotal driving force that propels this nation forward at every moment, even in the face of tremendous adversity. Black history is made every day, and we all shall remember this year round. NAACP art and culture for march hbo documentary black art in the absence of light click here watch now and please do not forget the naacp image awards that will be on bt on march 27. please feel free to visit our website and click on our newsletter to learn more march is women's history month as we observe hashtag Women's History Month in March, we recognize the female NAACP trailblazers, past and present, who have made an impact, inspired, mentored, and shattered glass ceilings to make life better for all of us. Thank you to all of you, the Black female leaders who continue to pave the way for future generations of women to come. Join the NAACP in nominating a phenomenal woman. Nominate a Black woman. Please click the link on our newsletter to nominate your Black woman. Merced Mural honoring civil rights legend, Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King was unveiled. This project was assisted by the Merced chapter NAACP and spearheaded by local residents Antonio Salazar and Tamara Ka. This is a very special to see the community come together, says Antonio Salazar. It is a very important to have art like this. It, it's what brings us together as a culture. Please feel free to click this tab to read more. Suing Trump over Capitol right. NAACP President and CEO Derek Johnson joins the readout to talk about the lawsuit against Trump for conspiring with right, right wing organizations to incite the Capitol riot. Donald Trump needs to be held accountable for the deliberate inciting and colluding with white supremacists to stage a coup in his continuing efforts to disenfranchise African American voters. The insurrection was the accumulation of a carefully orchestrated month-long plan to destroy democracy, to block the results of a fair and democratic election, and to disenfranchise hundreds of thousands of African-American voters who cast ballot ballots. Since our founding, the NAACP has gone to the courthouse to put in to actions that discriminate against African-American voters. We are now bringing this case to continue our work to protect our democracy and to make sure nothing like what happened on January 6th ever happens again, says Derek Johnson, president and CEO of NAACP. Please click this link. This is a great story. Ramona Valley President Jeanette Ellis Royson 
leading the way on No Knock Warrant Ban. A decade-long battle against civil rights groups across the nation to ban No Knock Warrants finally cleared an important hurdle locally in the city of Pomona. Now opening the door wider for police accountability and public safety. Jeanette Ellis Royson, president of the Pomona Valley Branch, NAACP, says she got involved with the process last summer after receiving a complaint from a local resident who has dealt with dangerous police raids in her neighborhood. Wonderful job, Pomona. Please feel free to click the link to read more. Well, that's my time. Thank you for taking your time to spend with me to view this e-newsletter for the California Hawaii NAACP. Closing out with the great words of our president of the state of California, Hawaii in the AACP. When we fight together, we win together. NAACP news make room. RP the loved ones gone too soon. We making power moves for the people make room. We got the daily news for the people stay tuned. NAACP news make room. RP the loved ones gone too soon. We making power moves for the people make room. We got the daily news for the people stay tuned.